Mrs. Grant says that there are only seven life processes, but actually there are eight. Let's take a look at them. Nutrition. Plants make their own food, while animals, they eat other organisms. Respiration. Creating chemical reactions to break down chem nutrients. Excretion. Getting rid of waste, toxic, excess products. Respond to stimuli. Are sensitive to changes in their surroundings. Move. Move and change position by the action of muscle and slow growth movement. Homeostasis. Maintaining a steady state inside the body. Reproduction. Make more of the same organism and grow. Permanently increase in size and complexity. There are more than 10 million species on earth today. To make things easier, biologists classify organisms into five groups. Plants, animals, fungi, protoctists, and bacteria. Plants are there in two types. Flowering and non-flowering plants. Some examples of flowering plants are jasmines and roses, while non-flowering include mosses and ferns. All plants are multicellular, meaning that they are made of many cells. Many of their cells contain chloroplasts, which help them photosynthesize. Photosynthesis uses light energy to convert the simple molecules to complex organic substances such as cellulose, starch, and sucrose. Humans or Homo sapiens come under the animal group. The variety of organisms are huge as they appear right now on the screen. All animals are multicellular. They don't contain chloroplasts, so they can't make their own food. They don't have cell walls either, which allows the cells to change their shape. They store carbohydrate as glycogen. Some fungi are multicellular, including mushrooms, toadstools, and moles, while others are unicellular, such as yeast. Yeast is found on fruits in soil, in water, and many other places. We use yeast to bake. Their cells have no chloroplasts, but they do have cell walls. However, their cell walls are made of chitin. Because fungi had cell walls, people thought that they were plants who lost chloroplasts. Productus, also known as the dustbin group, contains organisms that are not plants, animals, or fungi. Some look like animal cells, like amoeba. These are known as protozoa. Some can do photosynthesis and are known as algae. Some cause diseases, such as plasmodium, causes malaria. Bacteria are teeny tiny single-celled organisms smaller than 5 micrometers. Bacteria comes in three different shapes, spheres, rods, and spirals. But they have similar features. All bacteria have cell walls, cell membranes, and the insides are filled with cytoplasm. However, it has no nucleus. Instead, it has a genetic material on a single chromosome. All viruses are parasites. This means they can only reproduce inside living cells. A virus, which is only 0.01 micrometers, is not made of cells. They have no nucleus or cytoplasm and is composed of a core of genetic material surrounded by a protein coat. Viruses don't feed, respire, excrete, move, grow, or respond. They only reproduce, and that also parasitically. This leads us to think that they are not living organisms at all. Pathogens are organisms that cause diseases. Most of them are bacteria or viruses. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. These are animals, plants, and fungi. Prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus, including viruses. Thank you.